Okay. Um, so let's try let's try this one now. This one's number eight, I believe. Yeah, number eight on the practice test. Calculate the osmotic pressure of a point. 7.5 molar calcium chloride solution at 37 degrees Celsius. So, the first thing you have to remember is that you need to get the osmolarity of this uh, type of a problem. Okay, so you don't just calculate from the molarity, you have to know the osmolarity. And in order to do that, you need to know what calcium chloride uh, is. Okay, so calcium, of course, is Ca, and it's got a plus two charge, right? Chlorine has a minus one charge, right? So to combine those two in calcium chloride, it's gonna be one calcium and two chlorines. And when you put that into water, you get this chemical equation there. So the osmolarity just uh, is a measurement of particles in solution. It's not a measurement of uh, like concentration of calcium or concentration of chlorine. It's a measurement of the combined particles. Okay. So in order to get the osmolarity, you need to take the molarity of calcium chloride. So the osmolarity of particles will equal 0 0.75 molar calcium chloride times 3 <coughs> particles to 1 so 3 molar particles to 1 molar calcium chloride molar calcium chloride cancels and we just get um, 0.75 times 3 which is 2.25 osmolar or molar in part of it. Where did you get those three from? Um, because there's one plus two. Sorry. Okay. So um, for every one of the reactants, there's three products. Okay. So that's the concentration you're going to use for the subsequent equation, which is the equation for osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure is pi times. Um, the osmolarity times R times T. Okay. So R is given, of course, 0 0.0821 liter AGM over 1 mole Kelvin. And that should give you some sort of clue as to what temperature scale you want to put your um, temperature in. So the temperature currently is in degrees Celsius, 37 plus 273 to get Kelvin, 310. 310 Kelvin. So all you do is plug this number, that number, and that number into the equation. So the osmolarity is going to be 2.25 um, so molar, or we'll do it this way, pardon me, moles per liter, and then R is going to be 0.0821 liter ATM over 1 mole Kelvin. And then you're going to multiply that by the temperature, which is 310 Kelvin. So moles cancel, liters cancel, Kelvins cancel. 
and you're left with ATM, which is good because it's, it's a pressure and that's a pressure unit. So you got to do 2.25 times 0.0821 times 310. And your osmotic pressure is 57. 